Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So it was just reported by Jason Quick that the Portland Trailblazers have rejected a trade for James Harden because it included CJ McCollum, which is kind of crazy to think about, man. Like literally, I mean, CJ McCollum's a fantastic basketball player, but the fact of the matter that we are now at the point where you can't trade CJ McCollum for James Harden just shows you how much Harden's trade value has really fallen, man. So for today's video, what I want to do is try to put a trade together with the Houston Rockets to get Harden on the Trailblazers as well as whatever players go over on the Houston Rockets just because, you know, I'm kind of curious, man. Like Harden and Damian Lillard, um, that in theory sounds like the best damn backcourt in the entire NBA in recent memory, but uh, also I can see where the Portland Trailblazers franchise would kind of want to avoid James Harden, um, you know, just what, as far as it goes to like affecting the franchise, right, man? So before we get going on today's video, I need to ask you guys to please drop a like. 1,000 likes is always the goal. And if you are new to the channel, if you can take that quick second, man, hit that subscribe button. Help me grow this platform right here, guys. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, so, yes, we are using NBA 2K21. As you guys know, I have not really been playing this game as of lot lately. The reason is because start today mode does not work. So, there's a lot I cannot do. Even for this video, it feels weird because, like, the schedule is off and everything. But this is more so just, like, a what-if simulation type of thing to, like, see how, you know, those guys would work together. So, the schedule doesn't really matter to me all that much. But if you guys were wondering, that's why I've not been doing, like, rebuilds and stuff. Because I can't do start today mode. And when it's not start today, um, it's not, like, realistic stats and, like, stuff going on, which is really annoying. So, um, I know Kenny, king of the fourth quarter, did uh, contact Michael Safer. Um, you know, not the coach in the game, the real guy. And I guess they're supposed to be fixing it. We'll see, man. It's 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 kind of crazy that a member of the damn uh, you know YouTube 2K community has to contact you know your guy to uh, get something to work in this game. That's such like a basic feature that's been here for years. But hey, that's where we're at, right, man? So yes, um, I think the first thing we need to talk about is I, I guess we should probably put together a trade. Then we can talk about both teams and see you know why this would or would not work, right, man? So let's go ahead and hit up that uh, propose a trade. Now keep in mind that I am just doing a trade that I feel is right. I would like to know in the comment section below, what's the trade you feel like the Portland Trailblazers could do to get James Harden? Or I guess the way you want to think about it now is what trade could the Houston Rockets do to uh, to get CJ McCollum? Because it sounds like they kind of got the leverage out there, right, man? So we do, let, we do know that CJ would be in the trade. Uh, we also know that James Harden would be in the trade with the Rockets. So beyond that... I mean, CJ at 84 overall, kind of disrespectful. He's been killing it this season, you know, for the Trailblazers. But, you know, 2K is probably still coming out with, like, their thing or whatever. So, um, it looks like the Trailblazers would need to add in some additional salary. So, I feel like at this point, you know, obviously Carmelo Anthony would not be included. I would not give up Gary Trent Jr. if I was the Trailblazers. I would not do that. Um, Ennis Cantor. I mean, I could see, like, Rodney Hood, maybe. Because I guess Gary Trent being 6'5", like he could play some small forward for this team. You obviously have, you know, Derrick Jones. You have, uh, you have like Rocco out there or whatever. So Rodney Hood would be like a nice piece to include, I suppose. And I would go as far as maybe like a first round pick. Now you might say this is too much to give up. Or maybe if you're a Rockets fan, you're probably saying that's not enough. But that's where we're at with things, man. It's kind of like a stalemate when it comes to Harden trades. Because you got the two sides that want a lot. And you got the other side that's like, well, we know what he's been up to, so we're not giving up too much, right, man? So this trade seems fair for both sides, but I'm sure I'll know in the comment section below if this was a good trade or not. Here we go, man. Okay, so that is the trade that will be going down. So first, let's take a look at the Houston Rockets. What exactly would these guys bring to this team? Why would it or would it not work? Well, I think what you see right away with uh, CJ McCollum replacing James Harden is you see a more emphasis on team basketball, right? Because, like... I mean, at making this video, the Rockets are 0-2 on the season. And the thing is, it's like, when Harden came into the year, you know, obviously there's a lot of drama going on with him as far as, like, going to clubs and stuff like that. But the guy's still really good at basketball. Like, he's still dropping, like, damn 40 points per game, right? So, with CJ McCollum, you still get a really good, solid score, you know, looking at, like, his career stats and stuff like that. Always good for, like, you know, the low 20s. Um, and that was, you know, playing behind Damian Lillard. So, in this team... I mean, CJ is the best player on the team. Like, you have John Wall. This works out nicely. Like, this is a... I mean, CJ, I, I would say, as far as, like, just being, like, a really skilled shooting guard like Bradley Beal. Um, John Wall obviously knows how to play with that type of guard. You know, those scoring emphasis guards. You have Eric Gordon at the three spot. You know, bring some more... Um, offense to the team or whatever you got christian wood who's been looking fantastic you still got bookie cousins on the team you know pj tucker ronnie hood daniel house i like him man you got so many damn small forwards probably way too many damn small forwards but hey it's all good so yeah i i do like this i i do like this for the rockets it just gets them away from the drama 
and getting the first round pick to me is the difference maker if you don't get that first round pick i wouldn't do it because cj is how old is he man he's uh he's 29 so it's like he's not exactly fit for like a long-term rebuild uh but he definitely fits with like you know what everybody else is on this team so with that pick you know i mean this team to me still is not when we're gonna win a championship like they're just not that good in the western conference to win a championship with this squad but uh you know getting the picks nice and getting away from the drama james harden it's kind of worth it within itself so we'll go with this right here man but uh, yeah let's uh take away some minutes from ben get chris clemens up there in rotation although i think he's out for a little bit but uh, let's get some more minutes to DJ mccollum you know the starting five right here so that way we can see what they can really you know what they're really capable of in this simulation and then looking over at the portland trailblazers man so yes like i said right away i mean this is pretty damn cool like james harden damian lillard now I could see why the Trailblazers are hesitant because we do know, like, James Harden, not only do you get the ball-centric type of guard he is, which, you know, if the ball's in James Harden's hand, it's not in Damian Lillard's hand. But on top of that, just, like, the drama and everything like that, it's just really going to kill, like, the team emphasis that this Portland Trailblazers team kind of has sometimes. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's usually either, like, Damian Lillard's taking over or the rest of the team's playing fantastic, right? With James Harden... It just does he just doesn't really fit that mold now skill wise it looks damn good like 95 overall 96 overall you got roco out there for some defense which i really like let's actually put him at that uh permanent actually you know what i'm thinking i'm still thinking mellow off the bench because you know harden and mellow that obviously did not really work out in the past but also you don't get the uh defense with carmelo anthony uh so let's go ahead and switch him out i'm gonna say with derrick jones jr you know derrick jones jr is really looking you know hella athletic out there and defensively great so he would be a nice little just like three and d player out here along with roko it's a great starting five man of course you got Nurkic out there the bench is still going, uh, strong with gary trent jr and his cantor Carmelo anthony um let's actually take away your minutes from harry giles unfortunately give those to on for simons because we're gonna need a backup you know guard on this team still but uh i don't know man i, I have no idea how this is gonna like actually you know kind of work out in the long run of things on here but uh we'll see we'll see we'll see if this team you know it's 2k take it with a grain of salt we'll see if the simulation can get them a championship or whatever so yeah let's go ahead and simulate the season right here and um yeah man honestly like i feel like it's kind of beating a dead horse talking about james harden at this point like we've talked about james harden so many times i'm just so ready for him to just like either say you're gonna stick with the team or the rockets need to trade him man but it's it's such like a bad situation for the Rockets management just having a guy that talented and just knowing that no matter like no matter what trade you have it's gonna make your team worse off so it's like yeah they obviously would rather work things out with Harden but uh I don't know man like I said the Rockets are 0-2 on the season I could see James Harden over the course of the next few weeks if this team does not win more games getting really frustrated um it seems like John Walls tried getting through to him but that obviously didn't really work you know, I know Boogie Cousins can be a little bit uh, emotional at times. So, you know, I can see those guys really getting into things eventually. Now, we've not seen the full strength roster yet. Obviously, the first game of the season against the Thunder got canceled. And then the next game, I'm pretty sure they only had like six or seven players or something like that. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, so, yeah, man, I don't really know. For the Portland Trailblazers, I think you guys have a great team this year. Like, literally, the weaknesses of last year's team. You completely fix in this offseason by getting Rocco and Derrick Jones Jr., getting Ennis Cantor, a cheaper center off the bench compared to a San White side, a guy that's not going to, you know, he's going to do some good things, but uh, maybe not like the things he does bad is not like as bad as like what San White side did bad for this team. That makes sense. I mean, you got Nurkic and everything. So, yeah, Trailblazer fans, you guys hold out, guys. Hold out. Don't, uh, don't be pushing your management to get James Harden. You guys definitely do not need him. But if you do get him, if it's James Harden for CJ straight up, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe you, maybe you think about it. Maybe you think about it, right? But uh, I don't know, man. Record-wise, first in the conference, 59-20. If you can't see, because I'm in the way. But uh, yeah, so 2K liked the team a lot, which, like I said, it's 2K. And for the Rockets, they went 30 and 51. So that would be my predictions. I don't think that team would really make the playoffs unless John Wall, Demarcus Cousins had like comeback player of the years, you know, type of thing out there. And CJ would have another tier as a player being the number one option. But we got LeBron MVP, Lamelo Ball Rookie of the Year. Here's all the other awards for you guys. See all NBA first. James Harden making that. All NBA second with Damian Lillard. So it looks like those guys actually did complement each other pretty well. So that's nice to see. But yes, first seed in the Western Conference for the Portland Trailblazers. So if you can like guarantee James Harden can bring you that, then obviously you do it, right, man? Because, you know, the Lakers exist. But we got Harden at uh, 32 points. And surprisingly enough, both these guys literally averaged the same amount of points the same shot attempts they actually really shared the basketball nicely i was not really expecting that but uh 
31 points for both these guys you know a few rebounds the assists playmaking for these guys was absolutely off the charge which works because the rest of the team are not really guys that like need 20 shots a game i mean Melo wants 20 shots a game he don't need 20 shots a game so uh i guess that's kind of why it would work out right man field goal efficiency was great they both shot 11 threes bro did they like copy james harden's attributes or tendencies to damian lillard they're literally doing the same damn thing this is play play 37 minutes I don't know, man. So we got, we got, we got, we got uh, Dame, Dame Dollar, and we got uh, James, James Dollar Knight or something. I don't know, man. You know the strip club or whatever. So, hey, it worked out. But uh, let's see if they win a championship. Cause that's just the goal in the end of the day, man. Like if you get outed in the first or second round, but they got Lakers probably in the second right here. Then it's not really worth it. Then it's just like, hey, we're just right where we were at before. But we did get them four games to one the Sacramento Kings. Close out. We got 36 for Dame time and 16 for uh, James Harden. Here we go. Lakers. They got game one. Same late round. And hey, we got past the Los Angeles Lakers, man. So there we go. It's already worth it getting to the Western Conference Finals. 45 and 13 for Harden. You know, 20 for Damian Lillard. 18 for Camilo Anthony. Next up, we got the Warriors, who I don't think will be the third seed. But still early in the NBA season. Who knows? Maybe Curry has like a, you know, a 50 point per game season left him or something. So uh, simulate round against the Warriors. We get them four games to zero. And we are in the NBA Finals against the Orlando Magic. Markel Foles, I said, you know, man, I said most improved player. I said that, like, the beginning of the offseason, man. I said Markel Foles, most improved player. Simulate round, see how this goes. And there you have it, man. James Harden, finals MVP. I would give it to Damian Lillard. I don't I don't care if Damian averages two points per game. Look, like, they got the same damn stats again. <laughs> 40 points apiece. Okay. That is absolutely crazy, man. But, hey, this worked out a lot better. But, hey, just goes to show, you know, it's a video game. It's a video game, man. But, uh yeah i would be intrigued i just don't really think i see it happening well according to portland trailblazer management it will not be happening because they rejected any trade with cj mccollum but maybe they see this video you know maybe it's worth it or maybe not thank you guys all so much for watching like i said uh once start today mode is fixed i'm going to be trying to incorporate some more 2k into the channel it's just right now they're being lazy as hell over there so got what you got right man thank you all so much for watching peace out